Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the opening session of the World Energy Congress 2016. We meet in Istanbul at the time of transition and change in the energy sector with major impacts on the way we view energy and the way the energy sector does business. No country, no company, no consumer will be unaffected by the changes that we are set to witness. Indeed, they have already started. We call this the grand energy transition. It's a topic that we'll discuss time and time again over the next four days. Per capita energy demand, once on an ever rising trajectory, is finally set to peak. Renewable energy will gain an increasing market share and hydrocarbons will come under pressure, especially those in high cost regions. In a post-cup world, Governments will try to adapt their policies in a way that is likely to put more emphasis on the environmental pillar of the energy trilemma. Countries will struggle to achieve balanced energy policies in which environmental commitments go hand in hand with the need to secure improved energy access and improved energy security. In parallel, technology is changing the way we use energy and is helping consumers rationalize their choices. Smart grids, digitalization, and improved energy storage will all help optimize energy production and use. Simply put, none of us can continue business as usual. Those who do not adapt will eventually lose us. If I were to use two words that would describe the best what you're about to witness over the next four days is change, of course, you've heard that, but I would say change and velocity, how rapidly can we adapt to what we will see happening in our business and uh, government environments? For major oil um, producing countries, the future is clearly challenging, especially those in the midst of a drive towards economic diversification and industrialization. 